Let's take a look at parallel and perpendicular lines. We're going to review what parallel and perpendicular lines. We're going to look at the slope of parallel lines and the slope of perpendicular lines and how they relate to equations. So parallel lines are two lines or a set of lines that will never intersect regardless of how far, how long they are. And perpendicular lines are lines that intersect and at the point of intersection form a right angle, which is 90 degrees. So the slope of parallel lines are always equal. So we, what we say is two lines are parallel if their slopes are equal or if their slopes are the same. To identify those slopes, you must write the equations in the form y equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope. And we want to make sure that they have different intercepts because if they have the same slope and the same intercept, they represent the same line. So an example here is y equal to 3x plus 5. See, the intercept is 5 here. And y equal to 3x are parallel because the slope for both of them is 3. Remember, the slope is the is the coefficient of x or the number to the left of x and here we have no intercept so these two lines are parallel now let's apply to this expression or to this equation this line here identify a line that is parallel to 3x minus 7y equal to 10. so we need to write this equation in the form y equal to mx plus b so let's add 7 to both sides, 7y to both sides. So 3x equal to 7y plus 10. Now we can subtract 10 from both sides. So 3x minus 10 equal to 7y. And we need to have it in the form y equal to mx plus b. So we're going to divide by 7 on both sides. So, 3x over 7 minus 10 over 7 equal to y. Now, we want to find out a line that is parallel to this line. Now, we can see, let's write this properly. So, this is going to be written as y equal to 3x over 7 minus 10 over 7. So, our slope is going to be m is going to be 3 over 7. So line, let's call it line 2, which is the line that is parallel to this given line, is going to be y equal to 3 over 7x. So we have the slope, same slope, and then let's say plus 2. We just have to have a different intercept. Let's try the same here. We have 4x plus 3y equal to 5. Our goal is to make it look like y equal to mx plus b. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. So 3y is equal to negative 4x plus 5. So we divide both sides by 3. And then we have y is equal to negative 4 over 3x plus 5 over 3. So let's look at line 2, which is going to be the parallel line. It's going to be y equal to negative 4 over 3x. And we just need a different slope, so I can say minus 6. So that would be the line parallel to the given line. Now in the case of perpendicular lines, their slopes have to be negative inverses of one another. So if we look at the example here, you have 3x for the slope of this line and then negative 1 over 3x. So here's how that works. So 3 over 1 and then the next line is negative 1 over 3. Now let's apply that to the example here. So we have a line 3x minus 7y equal to 10. And we want to find the line that is perpendicular to that. The first thing we want to do 
is expresses in the form y equal to mx plus b. So let's get let's get at it. So we add seven y to both sides. So three x is equal to seven y plus ten. Let's subtract ten from both sides. So three x minus ten equal to seven y. Now we divide by seven because we want to make sure that y has a coefficient of one. So we have three over seven x minus 10 over 7 equal to y. So we're going to write it in this form, y equal to mx plus b. So we have y equal to 3 over 7x minus 10 over 7. Now we're going to find the slope of the line that is perpendicular. Remember, it's the negative inverse. So for L2, slope is going to be, we're going to do an inverse. So it's going to be 7 over 3, and then we have to change the sign. It's negative, because 3 over 7 is positive. So the slope of the perpendicular line has to be negative. So now the, the equation of that line is going to be y is equal to negative 7 over 3 x plus 2. It doesn't matter what the intercept is. And then finally, we have 2y minus 3x equal to 4. So we're going to add 3x to both sides. So 2y is equal to 3x plus 4. Now we're going to divide by 2 on both sides to make sure that we have a coefficient of 1 for y. So y is equal to 3 over 2 x plus 4 over 2, which is the same as y equal to 3 over 2 x plus 2. So let's take a line L2 and uh, find the slope. So for line L2, the slope is going to be negative inverse of this, which is going to be 2 over 3, and then we have a negative sign. So the equation of the line is y equal to 2 over 3 x minus 5. We don't care what the intercept is. And it's going to be negative because the original line had a positive slope. So the, par the perpendicular line has to have a negative slope. So this is what you do to identify the equations of lines that are parallel and perpendicular to given lines.